All right, welcome back, American Government Class. It is Monday, April 5th, 2021. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We have a bit of a doozy today. Doesn't look like it. Three things on the class agenda, but it's going to involve a lot of work from y'all. We're going to start off with the last class review, as always. Pretty simple. Influences on lawmakers. Talk about that again. Talk about that vocab quiz that you had. Then we're going to talk about committees in Congress. We've discussed it just very, very briefly. We know of a conference committee where if there's two different versions of the same bill, it goes to conference committee so that they can work out the differences, and it goes back up and all the way through again. We've talked about special committees just a little bit, joint committees just a little bit, uh, when we took a look at how Congress is made up. The same day we talked about the Speaker of the House and the Senate pro tempore, and the majority and minority leaders, uh, we talk a little bit, little bit about committees. Today, you're going to be doing a little bit of reading and research on committees. However, it is a very important assignment because it is a very large, scaled, point value assignment. It's worth a lot of points, is what I'm trying to say here, and it's going to take you a little bit of time. So. I want to make sure we get to that as soon as possible, give you as much time as possible to work on it and to do the reading you need to do. Which, of course, will lead us to the attendance and assignment, which I kind of just told you what it is. So, first things first, last class review, we talked about the four different influences on congressional members. The people, the voters, the constituents, the people who they represent. We talked about political parties and what it means to be partisan or bipartisan to vote along party lines, or to work and reach across the aisle. We talked about the president and how the president can withhold favors or grant favors if people vote for the president or the way that the president wants them to vote. And of course, interest groups, PACs, and lobbyists have a huge effect on congressional members. Now, for committees in Congress today, it's a little bit different. We know committees are small groups of people, all right? A lot of bills that die, most bills that die, do so in committee. There are small committees. And then there are subcommittees, which are even smaller versions of the committees. Today, oh, who's got their phone on in my class? That wasn't me. Let's just edit that out later. Committees, committees. Small committees, subcommittees, or even smaller. What you're going to learn about today is the different types of committees, as well as the different types of those types of committees, if that makes any sense. Think about it this way. In Congress, there's a lot of people in the Senate, a lot of people in the House, but there's a lot more people in our country. So there are special committees, small groups, designed to specific areas. Maybe defense committee. Maybe committees for education. Maybe committees for money. All these different topics, you can't just have everybody working on it. So there are special people assigned to specific committees. And you guys are actually going to be doing a lot of research today. I don't want to tell you too much. I'm giving away too many answers. Uh, but you're going to be telling me about committees today. And your assignment will be this. Simply to complete the committees in Congress jigsaw that I sent you this morning. Now, I sent this to you along with the pages in our reading, but I'm also going to go ahead and show this uh, jigsaw and the reading to you right now, just in case something's wrong with your email or anything like that. I'm going to make sure that it's on this video for you to see as well. Now, it's worth a lot of points. I told you it's three sections. There's part A, part B, part C. That's three sections. You got to do them all. There's a front side and a back side. It's worth a lot of points, okay? It's going to take you a little bit of time. There's only about four to five pages worth of actual reading. So get that done and then start finding your answers. I know a bunch of you are going to want to just immediately go to the paper, look for it. It's going to take you so much longer. If you just read the four pages and then come find it, you'll be good. All right. Take a look at the paper. See what you should be looking for. That's always a good, it's a good test taking strategy, a good assignment strategy. Look at your uh, assignment. What? the jigsaw is going to be looking for, what kind of questions they're asking, then read everything, and it's going to help you out for doing that jigsaw. Now that is due today, all right? That's why I'm saying a lot of time 
Uh, it's going to take, I want to get you to it right away. So that's it for class. I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to show you the assignment. I'm going to show you the reading. Go get to work now because it's due today. It's due today. If you have any questions or concerns, of course, I am here. Just shoot me an email and I'll help you in any way that I can. If not, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend, weekend, week. And, uh, you know, we'll see you on Wednesday. I don't know why I'm saying goodbye. I'm about to talk to you and tell you about all this other stuff right now. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here you go. This is the first page of your Committees in Congress Jigsaw. I'm a nice guy, so I put the page numbers right here for you for Part A. It's going to go ahead and go ahead and ask you the importance of committees. Fill in the blanks. What are standing committees? Fill in the blank. Committee assignments. Who holds a majority of seats? Fill in the blanks. Then here you're going to have to give a little bit of a short answer, a few sentences. What do subcommittees do? Moving on to part B, you will see, man, I am still so nice. Gave you the page numbers where you can find these. These first few, fill in the blanks. Then right here, make sure to give me an example of a joint committee. And then tell me when a conference committee is created right in this area. And then, of course, right here, fill in the blanks. Finally, part C, again, gosh, Mr. Weckbaugh, you are so nice. Page numbers right here. Give me two reasons committee membership is important. Two of the leading committees in the House, one, two. Two of the leading committees in the Senate, one, two. In fact, you know what? Let's just spread these out a little, huh? Let's make it so it's a little bit more easy to understand. Put two of them right there for the Senate, two of them right there for the House. What is a committee chairperson's role? Answer that right here. What does a committee chairperson decide? Well, clearly there are four things in your reading that you should find. What is the seniority rule? Fill in the blanks. What are some criticisms? Fill in the blanks. And then you are done. So it seems like a lot of work, but it's really not. A lot of filling in the blanks in a few sentences, okay? Shouldn't take you too long. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reading. Here we go, page one. And I'll go through this slowly. Uh, you can pause it, of course, so that you can read these guys. But I'll go through all five pages right now. And then the video will end. Page two. Page three. Page four. And page five. All right, guys, use these pages to fill out that committees in Congress jigsaw. These pictures and the jigsaw were also sent to your email. Like I said, if you have any questions, just email me. Have a great rest of your Monday.